update me. Your son still hangs around her, but don't worry. Recently, she found herself a new boyfriend, and you won't believe who. Chat Noir himself, it figures. I don't fucking care about his hair, sorry. <sighs> Only a goody two-shoes like Marinette will be friends with those pesky heroes. Later, in a random out-of-the-way place where murders and abductions have taken place. What the? Pugbot, is that you? I was walking to the fabric store. Marida. Then a swarm of Akumas came. I tried to run away, then hit my head on a pole. Bam. Um... Hawkmoth, you... You won't get away with this bleep, you bleep. Of all the ways to get caught, what sort of ladybug am I? I see you are awake. Such profanity. Do not be alarmed. I do not mean to harm you. Don't mean to harm me? You're literally Hawkmoth. Why am I even here? Does he not know I'm Ladybug? I still have my earrings. And Tiki. What a face. Simply put, you are ransom for Chat Noir. Once I get as miraculous, defeating Ladybug will be simple. Ho 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 ho. Oh, I see. Why are you relieved? Uh, anyways, I've already sent our coordinates to Chat Noir via magic stuff. He should be here any. Oh, uh, here he comes now. It's Chat Noir? <gasps> OMG, Mari, my BFF! Chad, save me! Ha ha ha! OMG! Ring first, kitty cat! I don't know his suit. <sighs> save me! What do I do? Without Ladybug, I'm utterly powerless! Not to mention totally stupid! If I am to save my dear girl friend, I must give in to the all powerful Hawk Moth! Please have mercy! Oh, don't worry, boy. I do fair business. Give me that. At last! Now my goal is closer to success than ever. <laughs> this is going... not as I thought. Isn't he supposed to be all goofy? Wait, that's it! I'll take advantage of his anger. Akumatize him. Simple and easy. In fact, an even better plan. This way I can humiliate him even more! Swish, magic sounds. Fa -la -la. Dun -dun. I kind of forgot how he does it. Go! Evilize him! <laughs> Your fault, yours, your fault, your fault, your... Chad! Don't you dare get akumatized! Wham! Ugh. As the princess wishes. Rip. Aport, 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 Alright, I'm gonna head out. Hmm. When did you get out? Your not game is weak. I've tied better blindfolded. If I'm correct, he bound your wrist, ankles, and body to a boulder, right? Yes, and he tried to akumatize you too? Why, yes. What should we do? In a random out-of-the-way place where murders and abductions and torture have taken place. You... what? You want to get paid? <laughs> Listen, Ladybug Chat Noir. Paris is eternally grateful for your protection. We owe our safety to you, truly. But payment? I understand you want to be compensated, but you are children still who can easily get carried away when it comes to money. Is exposure from the new not enough? Hmm. hmm. Let me put it this way. We're working the most dangerous job in Paris, taking time out of our own lives at any time for any amount of time. It deserves monetary compensation, no? If I meet this demand, they could easily raise their demands in the future. It's better to nip it in the bud. I'm sorry, it's just not feasible. If it takes so much time, it'd be better to work harder to find Hawk Moth, no? Hmm. Set. Okay, my turn. Mr. Mayor, do you want to know something I've always wondered? How far can my power go? If I activated it, set my hand down and never lifted, how much of Paris would rot? How much would repairing it cost? Millions? Billions? More than the amount you could be giving as payment. Ugh. All I have to say is, get up! Okay, okay, we'll set something up for you two, don't worry. Oh, good, but actually, I don't need any payment. Well, then why did you come? Why? For my lady, of course. How could you say no to this face? I feel unsafe. Sketching face. Wow, drawing me? How flattering. Do you have a crush on me? <laughs> <laughs> don't you know you aren't supposed to look without permission? And stop pilfering all my cookies. Flip. The cookies are good. Oh, swallow. And I think I'm a little entitled being the model and all. Well, I do not have a crush on you, FII. 
And I'm sorry, I guess I should have asked for permission first. But you look a lot like one of my friends, Adrian, that I draw a lot. You know the one. I mean, your facial features are pretty much identical. And your face shape, too. Not to mention your hair color and skin color and eyes are all also really... So, we share some features. Big deal. Maybe the guy kind of looks like me. But I know him really well and we are nothing alike. Adrian is lame. Dare I say, a loser. Not like me. Felix? I... <laughs> Psst. Dude, don't say something you'll regret. Your hair reminds me of seaweed. Uh, thanks? Yes, ocean good. Oh, okay. I tried to warn you, dude. Earth to Adrian. Did you see today, Plag? She waved at me from across the courtyard and smiled and she... Ugh. I was wrong. I should have heard you out instead of jumping to conclusions. I'm sorry. Your name is Adrian, right? I hope we can still be friends? Sh sure I live really close, so you can use that while you wait. See you tomorrow. Y yeah, s see you tomorrow. Tomorrow. What's wrong with me? I think I know why. <laughs> okay, I left a schedule on the table. I know, you told me three times. Her snacks are in the fridge, and for lunch, they are soup to heat up, I know. Oh, don't forget. Marin Head, seriously, relax. I already know everything I have to do. And your backup plan. And your backup backup plan. Manone, 17 years old. She's got a point, you know. We were supposed to leave seven minutes ago. I, I know, but like, what if Emma throws up? Or someone gets up on the stove? Any number of things could happen. Maybe I should stay just in... Mm. Nope, you've been excited about this date all week, and you need a break. Clearly, I've got this. And Manon learned from the best, you know. Oh, stop. What? It's true. You're too much, you know that? Not too much for you. Equally disgusted and envious. Okay, Emma, come say bye. Here comes the princess. Mama, Papa. Be good, Emma. I'm always good. If the princess is especially good, she might get some royal treats. Really? Only if you don't cause trouble for Manon, okay? Bye, Mama. Bye, Papa. I'll be good, so get me the chocolate eclairs. Who would have thought? Marinette babysat me, now I'm babysitting her daughter. What? Who's Marinette? Uh, Marinette is your mama's name. Nanny? No, mama's name is my lady. Just out of curiosity, what's your dad's name? Chaton? <clears throat> what is the meaning of this? He's a kitten. Duh. Isn't he adorable? Unhand me this instant fiend! Wow. <laughs> Stop, the <it> tickles! Meow! <laughs> I'm the black cat, Kwame. The heartbringer of destruction. An ordinary kitten is incomparable. I don't need attention from a human boy. Oh, Plague. I noticed you've been down. This chase is supposed to be really fancy. I'm not sure, but I saw it and thought you want it, Pool. And I... Whoa, are you okay? Please don't cry. Your tears are like acid. Now you must really love this cheese. <laughs> Next up! One dark hot chocolate, please. One milk. Being forced to do this. <sighs> Pfft. Is something funny, Agrest? Of course you like milk chocolate. I'm not surprised with your childish taste. That's funny. I was gonna say how dark chocolate matches your bitter personality perfectly. Raised with daddy's money and you still don't have any taste? It's because I was raised with quality that I appreciate pure chocolate. You live above a bakery and like that sweet crap? We sell sweet, smartass. Lovers quarrel? I should relieve the tension so they can hurry up and pay. Um, you two make a lovely couple. Hmm? No, no you don't. don't. They got kicked out. Shut it. This is your fault. Later that same day. Milk chocolate? Sweet, just like you, my lady. Although I myself prefer dark. <laughs> Stop, you like dark chocolate? I guess it's an acquired taste. 